Hello, I'm Mia. I run a sandwich shop that makes sandwiches to order and delivers them. Local companies order their sandwiches the day before and we deliver them the next day. When I first started this company, I made all the sandwiches myself and took all the orders. In the beginning, we made about 30 sandwiches a day and now over 300. I employ two sandwich makers, a delivery driver, and a person that actually takes all the orders. The problem is we're finding it very difficult to make and deliver this number of orders correctly and customers are beginning to get cross. It's great having all this business, but things keep going wrong. Every day we have the wrong sandwiches or the wrong prices, the wrong orders or the wrong delivery addresses. It's a nightmare. Hello, I'm Andy Brand. I run a printing business. Now we've always ordered our lunchtime sandwiches from Mayor's Sandwich Shop. Now what I do is I call up the day before to place the order and they deliver by lunchtime the next day. I'm just going to phone through tomorrow's order. Hi, it's Andy from Brands Printers here. Can I order the sandwiches for tomorrow, please? Okay. Right, would like our usual order for our shop at 21 Floodwell Avenue, please. Yes, that's two ham sandwiches, one cheese sandwich, and one chicken kebab and pizza, please. Great. Now, but um, could we have an extra order, please? Yeah, that's two falafel in pita and one cheese baguette. Now, they need to go to our new offices at 34 Charter Street. Yeah, that's 34. You got that? Good. Now, how much will that come to? 18 60. Okay, that's fine. Oh, um, and one other thing. The last time there was a big mix-up in the order. So, uh, we, yeah, we got the completely the wrong order. So, could you please make sure we get the right sandwiches going to the correct addresses, please, this time? Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, Andy, no worries. Hi, I'm Adele. I'm the order clerk. My job is to take the sandwich orders from customers for delivery the next day. What I do is use the menu to check the codes and prices for the sandwiches and make sure they go on the order form. I need to make sure I take the customer's details, the company name and address. Customers often ring up to change their order though, and every time they do that, I have to write down their details all over again and look at this mess. I need to get the order form to the sandwich makers so that they can work out how many sandwiches they need to make for the next day. Everyone is always having a go at me. The customers with the wrong orders, the sandwich makers are having a go because they can't read my writing, the driver because he's gone to the wrong address, and worst of all, the boss, Mia, because the books don't balance. I just can't win. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm the sandwich maker at Mia's Sandwich Shop. These are all the orders I have to make for today, and they're impossible to read because they've been changed so many times. I have to use this form to write a delivery note for the driver. Then I make the sandwiches. We get the orders the day before. That way we can check we have all the ingredients in stock for the next day's orders. Once I've made all the sandwiches for the day, I put them in the out tray along with the delivery note for the driver to pick up. At the end of the day, I tick off all the orders on the order sheet and give it to Mia. That way she knows all the orders have been completed and she can check stock needed. But how she understands that, I have no idea. She seems to be in a really bad mood these days. I'm the driver for Mia's sandwich shop. I'm the one that gets all the flack from everyone when things go wrong. Here's a good example. Today I delivered an order to Andy at Bryant's Printers. When I gave it to him, he lost his temper and went on about a meeting in Charter Street. Half of his order was supposed to go there. The address I have for Andy on my delivery note is 21 Floodwell Avenue, and the order was all in the same bag. 
What's worse is that I have to make changes to the delivery note when things are wrong and some customers refuse to pay. So Mia always has a go at me because the books don't balance.